Welcome back to Talk of the Town. With me now is Carissa Christner, who is a youth services librarian for the Madison Public Library and the South Central Library System. Carissa, welcome. Thank you for having me. So you're you're holding an iPad and it's pointed directly at my <laughs> face or maybe your face. It looks like it's your face. Yep. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about apps for kids. So first of all, talk uh, tell us what are apps for kids. So apps for kids are basically just the software that you mm. use in order to have a program or a game or uh -huh. something on a mobile device like a tablet okay. or a phone. Okay, so you brought an example with you today. Let's uh, right. take a look at what, what, what is the, uh, the app that you brought and what does it do? So the app that I brought today, because I wanted to show you what an app was, because okay. a lot of people may not have played with apps for kids. Sure. This is one of my favorites. It's called Chomp. Okay. It's by a company called Fox and Sheep, but it's also by this, um, he's actually a children's book author and oh, wow. illustrator, Christoph Neiman. Okay. And he does some great work. But this app is especially fun because in this app, um, you can see my face is showing up right there underneath this top hat, guys. Sure. And if I tap on it, it, then oh it squashes my face. <laughs> now if you go That's to the true. top corner uh, and you'll see that little window there's a lot of different options that we can play with. So let's go ahead and pick one. I'm going to do this one with the hair and if I have this my hair I can tap on it and I can grow all okay. kinds of different hairstyles. I can try out a beard perhaps that's lovely on me, uh, some berries. You can also do um, some fun things with maybe a singer. I could sing a song. I'll turn the volume up so you can hear it just a little bit. Whoops, wrong way. Um, and I can sing along. La 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 la. That's la, 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 very la. cool. And then the other fun thing is at the bottom corner, there's a little oh. um, video camera. If I tap on that, I can actually make a video of myself okay. using this app. Okay. It saves it to my device, and then I can send it to like a grandpa sure. if I want to share it with him. Sure. Something more fun than just a, a, a regular video right. without, without all this kind of silliness. Exactly. <laughs> so one cool. of the things I like about this app is that it really does appeal to like to kids, mm -hmm. but also to grown-ups. I think they Absolutely. Think I would fun, have fun so. with this. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. When you were showing me this before <laughs> the show started, I was seriously considering going and downloading it on my iPad. Had after yep. the, the show. So um, so let me ask about this while you're uh, having fun. Uh, maybe you can I'll, put I'll, me on that. I'll put it in. If I choose, I'll put you on it. Yes, I'll do that. Yeah, let's, let's do me real quick here. How about if I do a picture of you? Okay. I'll take a picture of you because you can also do a still shot if you want to. All right. Oh, there's, there's, there's me. There's you. All right. Okay. So then let's use the photo. I don't think I was looking at the camera. But That's ooh. all right. We'll just put you on there. You'll be sideways. It'll be all right. All right. So there's your face. I've centered it, sort of. There we go, good enough. And I hit OK. And now your picture shows up and you're a panda. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so this is especially nice if you want to take a picture of, say, like your cat. Sure. Because your cat's not going to sit still for you to take a video that's of true. him. So that's true. We'll, we'll make you be a Superman. There we go. All right, I like that. Nice. One. All right, now I can, I can put this fly. Down. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm flying. I'm flying. Yep. So um, libraries can't exactly loan apps to patrons. Right. So what's the connection between apps and libraries here? Well, librarians have for a very long time, pretty much since the beginning of librarians, um, been recommending different kinds of media for families, sure. right? We recommend books that are a good fit for your family. We recommend movies that might be nice for your family, like the right age groups or your interest levels. So I think that apps are just another form of media, and it's really within our purview to be recommending what apps we think are really high-quality ones that are the best fit for your family. High-quality apps, and I think that's a really important thing to note. However, there are um, a lot of parents who are becoming much more aware of screen time and trying to avoid exposing their kids to a lot of screen time. So right. are, these, are these apps still okay for kids to use? So are there certain age recommendations? There is a lot of talk about that. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's a, a lot more about the content that you're sure. using and the context in which you use it. Sure. So for instance, if you mm -hmm. um, have a two-year-old mm -hmm. and you wanted to use, say, FaceTime or Skype, a video chatting service with mm -hmm. your grandparents, that's fine. I know that the um, American Academy of Pediatrics doesn't recommend apps or screen time for kids that are under two. Right. But if it's something like that where you're really connecting to another sure. family member or friend, I think that's a totally appropriate use of, of it. Um, otherwise, I think that if you're using really high quality apps that you can feel good about, mm -hmm. it's more important than specifically how many minutes you're using um, an app with your kid. Or even if you're using a side by side with a kid like this one, it would be a really fun one to use together mm -hmm. to help build that relationship. Yeah, absolutely. We just have a few seconds left, but I'm wondering, um, the App Store, obviously there's so many different apps that parents can download. What can you recommend for parents who are looking for those high quality apps for their children to use? The library actually has a recommendation page, an app recommendation page okay. at madisonpubliclibrary.org. You can find it mm -hmm. on our website. And it's apps that I have reviewed over the past couple of years. If you find a favorite in there, like this one for mm -hmm. instance, you can see if there's other apps that are by that same app maker or the same artist. Mm -hmm. Like this one has at least one other app that's like it. And so just like you find a favorite book author, you can find a favorite app maker and just continue to follow them. Absolutely. Yes, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Carissa Christner, a youth services librarian from the South Central Library System. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Don't go away. There's more Talk of the Town coming up right after the break. Stick around.